Hello everyone, so before the video starts, I just want to say that my camera, the settings were changed on accident, so this video is probably going to be completely out of focus, and I'm sorry about that. So hopefully I can get it fixed now in this part of the video, and it works. So just a forewarning. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to Pawfology. Hope you're all having a good Wednesday. My Wednesday is going pretty good. Wednesdays are always pretty crazy. Uh, I am outside right now because I want to show you uh, the haze in downtown Indy. So it's a very uh, oddly hazy day. And it is a little cloudy, but it's mostly hazy. We're under a uh, we're under a air quality whatever warning. And um, it's because of the fire. I think that's what it's from, like from the wildfires. So it's a very hazy day. They're suggesting, okay, this is what, this is what uh, like the federal weather website said. They're encouraging people to, who have asthma, to not go outside and do not, and, and for everyone else, do not exercise outside in downtown Indy and try to avoid going outside for any reason. So they even said, don't get gas today, which I found interesting because I think it just adds to you being outside. So if you're able to not go to the, it said, don't go to the grocery store. Don't do errands today. Try to stay home, which I was like, oh, wow. So I remember I was in uh, California when I was in high school for a couple months and I was near, well, I was in the mountains and I was also in San Jose, but I uh, I remember, or also Fresno, and it was very dusty and foggy a lot. So it was crazy. And I would get it like in your nose and stuff. And at the end of the day, you would have like dust in your nose, but maybe that's still a thing. I don't know. I'm sure it is. But yeah, it's uh, interesting today. And just wanted to show you that. So here it is. It's okay. The sun is out. It's just like a thin layer of smoke or haze. Is it like this where you're at? I don't even know if you can tell. I can tell mainly because oftentimes I can see like further that way and see the buildings, but I can't really see some of the buildings I normally would see. So, but yeah, is that affecting your area? I would imagine it's affecting most people in the Midwest and probably the East Coast. And I'm sure, well, I don't even know where the fires are from. I, I forget. I. I want to say they were from the West Coast and then they traveled through Canada and came down the East Coast to us or something, but I, that might be completely wrong. So, but uh, my Wednesday is going well. I work today, very busy. I got to write a paper. I'm going to clean the kitchen. I watched some uh, baking, I don't know his name, it's Babish, the food YouTube channel, Baking with Babish. Or is it just Babish? I don't know. I watched that last night and it was really good. It was, uh, I watched him make an ice cream cake and some stuff with truffles, which I think he uses truffle a lot. I think it was just some sort of pasta with truffle or whatever, but his ice cream candy bar cakes look really good. I would love to, uh, make that. Maybe not though. That would be bad. I shouldn't make that, but it, it does look good. So I always enjoy watching his videos. And that's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna write my paper. Oh, here's something interesting. I saw a couple things. I saw that Subway has made a website to prove that their tuna is real because they got so much backlash for their tuna not being real tuna. So they're, they made a website about it and like, you know, doing that. I just thought that was interesting. So, but yeah, it's the middle of July, a hazy day in the middle of July. So I got to write a paper on the Cayman Islands or it's like, what strategy should this hospital take? And they're based in the Cayman Islands. So I got to do that. That's going to be like, ah, uh, that's just going to be so hard. So, but it will be good. I think it will be good. Yeah, it will be fine. And I got class tomorrow. 
for like three and a half hours or longer. So I'm doing that. Emily is at class right now. She will be there for maybe three to four hours. And that's what's up. Hope, what are you doing anything interesting this week? Hopefully your week is going well. Hopefully it's better than maybe Monday was and it's getting closer to the weekend. So I don't know what we're doing this weekend. Oh, we went to ice cream yesterday. It was, it was very good. We went to Kilwins and I liked it. It was good. I think Kilwins has great ice cream. They're normal. It's normal flavors. It's good. Emily got the s'mores. I really liked it. So I like the s'mores ice cream. You know, I think my favorite place to get ice cream at, even though it's so like whatever, basic. I love getting ice cream from Cold Stone. I love their cake batter. I think it's great. I think it just tastes amazing. So if you're still watching this, comment down below. If you're still watching, comment down below Sunflower across the street from our balcony where were some sunflowers and that's what the word of the day was going to be but we're actually right now in the Lockerbie neighborhood and Emily's with me hello uh we decided to go on a walk even though it's a little hazy is that what it is yes a little hazy and we're in Lockerbie and it's a very beautiful night here's what it looks like so you can see all the street lamps on Oh, I'm hearing cicadas. And maybe you can hear them. So here's the street. Yeah, it's it's a very magical, magical little street, I feel like, you know, very majestic, very, very nice. Yeah, quaint. So <laughs> quaint. Yeah, and uh, that's what we're doing. It's a beautiful night. And here's Emily. Hello, everyone. I just got home from class, really just recently, and Michael's like, do you want to take a walk? Which is my dream. I always love taking walks, especially in the evening when it's like this. So I did notice that it was hazy today, but I didn't know why. And Michael told me all about it when I got home. Mm -hmm. So I'm really high up in a building and I was like, is it foggy today? What is going on? Now I know. Did you talk about it earlier? Why? I I vaguely did because I didn't really know, but it's from the fires from the West. It's from yeah. interesting yeah. how far it can travel. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's crazy. But what was I gonna say? Um, oh yeah, so I talked more to my group tonight. Oh really? <laughs> about you know the group project presentation thing that I have next Wednesday. So guess who does not have to do two sections? Good job. And me. Figured out how to weasel my way out of that. I was like, so I was thinking that I could do, you know, the whole intro and then the whole first section, you know, mm -hmm. and then just trickled off and let them fill in the rest. Yeah. Our group is very non-confrontational, so no one's going to be like, <laughs> but you're going to do section four in the outro too, right? It was just kind of like out there. So I'm very happy about that because to me, the intro in section one is much more manageable than all of that. Yeah. So yeah, I'm happy. I turned in my paper for today. I hope I get a good grade on it. Last week is our next actual class. Really today was our last actual class because next week is just the presentations. Oh, nice. And then the week after that's the final. Okay. So, good grief. That went by kind of fast, but also kind of slow. I don't know. Both. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That made summer go by real quick. Oh, that's sad. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> well, it's amazing to hear the cicadas. I'm still like... Go off and on. Yeah, it's just so crazy, you know? Because this is the first time I've heard them. I don't even think I heard them in Virginia. So, but I think that's all for tonight. I'm going to go back. We're going to go back to the apartment and I'm going to continue working on my paper. And it's very interesting. 
you know, there's this place, I'm reading about this hospital system in the Cayman Islands, and they're uh, trying to specialize in medical tourism. And so Cayman Islands is an island, it's about an hour f- hour and 20 minute flight from Florida, I think Miami. And um, it's this hospital system that's partnered with Ascension, which is the biggest nonprofit hospital system in the U.S., that they're trying to develop a low-cost, uh, high-quality medical tourism. Very interesting. So in to- medical tourism or like medical like suites are pretty common in America. Like there's places you can go and get a gallbladder surgery and it's like a, it's literally like a resort. You know, you go there, they, they do everything. It's like very, they train, I don't know. I don't know. It's all types of interesting procedures, but I know of a few locations that do that. So, and this is just a cheaper option. Okay, I don't know. I'm just going to end it here. So, well, everyone, uh, I hope you all have a great Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday, a great Wednesday and Thursday. And I hear the the band at the Rascaler. The Rascaler is like a, I guess a little concert venue and I can hear them playing. Restaurant, yeah, it's a restaurant as well. I've never been there, but I don't think I ever wanna go there. <laughs> Even though I'm sure at one point that was like a fancy place or maybe it still is, I don't know, but it seems, I don't know. Yeah, maybe we'll go there. Maybe. Anyways, well, if no one's told you this today, you are loved and this world's a better place because you are here. Hope you all have a great Thursday and Wednesday. Bye. Bye.